Thank you. 
always stressed out by brushing the heels of my fingers in my hands, when I place my palms on the client's temple. Then moving across the forehead, I apply light pressure across the pressure points above the eyebrow. Using a soft bristle brush, brush through the hair. Brush gently. If the hair is tangled or there are knots, do not pull them through. Keep softly brushing through the hair. This is a really nice way to start a scalp massage. It's a nice brush. It feels really relaxing and it stimulates the nerve endings in the scalp. It's not often anymore that people brush your hair for you. And when we do brush our hair, we're normally in a rush and we just want to get our hairstyle done. So it's actually nice to lie and just have someone brush your hair. Once you've finished brushing the hair, place your index finger and your middle finger to each side of the client's ear. Applying medium pressure, move your hand backwards. Repeat this action up to six to eight times. This feels really relaxing to the client. In these shots, you can see just how much pressure is being applied. You can see the slight movement behind the ears as I apply that movement back and forth. This is a really nice movement to keep going back to during the scalp massage and keep doing. Massage along the side of the client's head with all of their fingers and your thumbs. This is not a light massage movement. The pressure of the fingertips will move the client's scalp. When you need to reposition, Brush your fingers through the hair to maintain contact and go back and forth, rubbing the scalp to the top of the client's forehead. Sometimes you will use all of your fingers and thumbs, sometimes you will concentrate on just the circular motions of your thumbs. Try and cover all of the head, don't just concentrate on one area. Brush through the hair and change positions. Not too firm? Mm -mm. Okay. When your hands are facing forward, it's hard to get to the crown. So turn your hands around and your body if needed. And make circular motions one hand at a time, getting right back to the back of the head. You won't be able to get completely to the back of the head, but as far back as you can until you touch the pillow or towel. Use one hand, change to the next. Do this right around the client's head. You can go backwards and forwards several times as much as you need. Move the hair out of the way and go back to the ears until you find just the side above the ears where the temples would be if they were on the skin but within the hair and massage there. That feels really nice to the client. You can also use your thumbs as pressure points. 
and that sliding straight movement across the scalp. Now for vesicular movements. This you can change and do whatever feels right. So if there are thumbs, massage right along your forehead where the fringe may be or where the hair meets the skin. Just remember, a scalp massage feels really good no matter how the person massages your scalp or where they massage. In general, if you're massaging and moving the scalp around, it always feels really nice. So go back to actions you've done before. It's not likely your client is going to be sick of it or wonder why you're doing a movement again. Just continue doing movements that feel natural. With experience, you get flurry and you'll feel comfortable and you'll know where your hands need to go next. In order to massage the occipital bone, which is right where the neck meets the skull. You need to move the client's head to the side. The occipital bone feels like a ledge, so move your fingers around like a claw and you will feel it. Then massage this area. Don't massage this area too hard. This also can be sometimes a sensitive area for a client, so ask them, is this pressure okay? Keep massaging through this area. Now that the head is on the side, you can create effleurage throughout the neck if you like. And you can move up through the side of the back of the client's head and massage through here. Make use of the repositioning of the client and massage right through the back. Remember, this is not about massaging the hair. This is about massaging the scalp. There should be movement. This is a really nice way to add additional value to your scalp massage. This is where you can reuse your soft bristle brush and brush through from the occipital bone to the back of the head. In general, your client's hair is normally brown, so this is really nice to have your hair brushed in a different direction. And it feels really relaxing. Brush through the side of the head. Move the head to the centre and move the head slowly to the other side supporting the other side of the head. Start on the other side of the occipital bone. Take your time when you're brushing through here. The slower you go, the more relaxing the face. There's no rush. If any hair gets in your way, just move it. Bring the client's head back to the centre. 
remember this is light to medium pressure just enough to see those earlobes move now move to slight pulling motions use the gear between your knuckles like so and tug on the hair do not move too far back away from your scalp or it will feel like the hair is being pulled which is unpleasant it needs to feel like a tug can you see the scalp move it's actually a really nice feeling continue on your male clients may like this to be a bit harder There's so many nerve endings in your scalp. All of these movements will be quite really relaxing to your client. You might see pink scalps, pink skin. That's the stimulation. The blood is being stimulated and coming to the surface of the skin. This is great. This is oxygen and nutrients. This is awesome for the hair. Relaxing for your client. Continue with final brush strokes with the soft bristle brush. Apply it from each side to the other of your client's head. Slow it down. Take your time. Go over four or five times each side. You can use your other hand to just use your fingers to brush through the hair. Brush the end of the hair. Use your final touches, which is a firm pressure movement with your palms, and you are finished.